still, none of these are Gadgets and Auctioneer. We're gonna have a hard time winning without Gadgets and Auctioneer. Watch this! Let the games begin. Has the climb been going recently? Um, we're going backwards right now, which is fine. I'm in no hurry to hit Legend. Last month was a, uh, a bit of a nightmare, so I don't really want to go through that again. Or I'm in no hurry to, uh, to try hard after doing so much of it last season. I may not hit Legend until, like, the very end of the month, or even at all this, this month, just because I'm so burnt out from... Like, I don't play off stream anymore because of that. Like, it just, I, I need some time. <laughs> Last month was brutal. Played way too many games. I did way too many, like, stupid things. I'm glad that I got in at the end, but man. That wore me out. Okay, this is looking like a good hand. Um, although, if he has, like, explosive runes, we just lose. Um, uh, I mean, hitting Legend at the beginning of the month is, uh, is overrated anyway. You just get long queue times. Wow. This is looking pretty good. I'm just really scared of, uh, his secrets, potentially. Less scared now. Like, part of me wants to leave that up so that I have targets for stuff next turn. But a more real part of me wants to, uh, to kill it so he can't Zola it. But if he's Zolaing it, that's like putting a lot of cards into his hand. So maybe I just rip the, uh, the Cold Light Oracle. That puts me up to 10 cards. So I would have to Cold Light and Wrath that. Am I even going in on the auctioneer next? Yeah, because I have the uh, the bio project. Double bio project. Oh, that's a big hit. That's useless. Alright, so we just go off next turn. Oh good, he gave us a target for all our stuff. We can only do a maximum of... Uh, 32 now. I got the best deals anywhere. Just tog. There's Emperor. Once I draw the other uh, Cold Light, I can go in. I think this will be fine. Again, secrets are my primary concern. I want to make aggro an aggro Warlock deck so people mulligan for other things. Uh, you have a list in mind? Eesh. Um... Wow, actually, nice high roll, bro. That's rude. Um, I don't know. I would, I would maybe look at some, like, egg and um, sacrifice things, or even just, like, discard is fairly aggressive, so you might you know, might get some, uh, some action there as well. All right, uh, I can draw two here. Not yet, obviously. So this probably needs to kill the big boy. And I can draw two with the branching pass. And if I hit the um if I hit the cold light, I'll just uh innervate out the Emperor. If not. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so I need to cycle the remaining four cards. This gets me one, two. I should be able to get there on the turn following the next one. Have I tried floop in this deck? Um, no. I think it's a little bit, uh, too clunky. I guess it might work with, because you can copy an auctioneer. But, but I mean, if you time it right, I think one auctioneer is often enough. Alright, 
let's go here. So we just win next turn, which means I want to not die. And I do want to cycle this last card. Uh, there shouldn't be any way we lose here, right? We already saw the Dirty Rat. Or we burned the Dirty Rat, rather. Oh, that doesn't matter. That also doesn't matter. You die, you die. Face for BM. And then press the green button. And by BM, of course, I mean exact lethal. Frankie. Light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. None of these are gadgets and auctioneer. None of these are gadgets and auctioneer. Still, none of these are gadgets and auctioneer. We're going to have a hard time winning without gadgets and auctioneer. Fortunately, our opponent doesn't do anything for the first, at least, few turns. So we got that going for us. Alright. If we do hit the Auctioneer, though, we're in business. And that business... is milling. Play Barnes for a third Auctioneer? I thought about that. Ooh, I saw the six mana cost and I got happy. The real bummer is that, like, if he has Shadow Essence, we just have to sit and watch. Ooh, Branching Pass draws us two cards. Eat the Mushroom. Eat the Mushroom. I'll tell you what. If we ever do hit that Auctioneer, this is going to be nuts, though. Thoughts on Barnes in this deck, removing the Wild Pyro. I don't think you want to remove the Wild Pyro because you just lose to aggro then. Uh, but I think I think Floop would be better than Barnes. Ferocious Howl is a card. It draws me closer to Auctioneer. Just going to go ahead and play this out. Wild Pyro isn't exactly clearing a lot of his uh, big minions. Inspire Druid versus Inspire Priest? Yeah. Yeah, new meta confirmed. No, he's actually uh, Shadow Vision's Priest. That makes a lot more sense. I'm going to go ahead and play one Auctioneer here. That'll allow me to... Cycle further. Hopefully. Jeez. Alright, this is getting ridiculous, chat. My hand is too full. Get out of here. No spell stones on my watch. Alright, can I please get an Auctioneer? Thank you. So since he's on 8 mana anyway, we might as well just play this and uh, start playing these cards to gain more mana. And just draw our entire deck for a while. Ah, 
<laughs> it's 6 9. Uh, we have everything we need, right? Let's just draw a few more cards then. So we go Emperor next turn and then win the game. Oh wait, I didn't attack. That was a mistake. Missed four damage. Am I drawing enough cards? It's never possible to draw enough cards. Oh smart, he entombed. Uh, that plays around fatigue. I'm two damage off lethal, by the way. I'm well aware. That's why I played the wild pyro. I'm out of cards. Well played. We need to take it this time. It's over. We got him. It was all calculated, chat. That was definitely, definitely not four damage missed. We just knew.